Okay, so we're now going to administer a dry cow therapy to this cow. So we've got our dry cow therapy ready to insert in the cow's teeth. Got some swabs to clean off the teeth to make sure we're inserting it as clean as possible. We need to be hygienic when we're doing this. Ideally, we're going to do this outside the parlour routine. So we're going to crush separate to the actual milking routine. That way she's not stimulated. I'm going to make sure we do an abrupt drain off so she's not going to be milked once the dry cow therapy is instilled. So ready to go now. I'm wearing gloves to make sure my hands are as clean as possible. And I've got some swabs in the tube ready to go. So the first quarter that we're going to do um, is the front left quarter. It's a good idea to do the front quarters and then the rear quarters so that you're not going to risk contaminating the others when you're reaching backwards and forwards. First thing we're going to do is clean the teeth. And in particular the teeth end. And in the teeth that we're going to instill this in, we're going to insert the nozzle just a small way into the teeth and then squirt the contents of the tube in. So the nozzle's just a small way into the teeth, insert the full contents of the tube, and then can give it a good massage into the teeth and the udder. The idea is that we're not gonna insert the nozzle too far because we want to make sure that we get the antibiotic covering the entire area of the teeth. Once the, once the tube's in the cow, we can then put some teat dip on. Some farmers will continue to teat dip depending on the risk of mastitis um, and make sure, just as part of the milking routine, that the end of the teat is protected.